stays in a path because he hates the snow and that sh really doesn't give a shit. <laughs> she thinks the snowflakes are like bugs. Just a man hating his life. So here's the forecast we're looking at. And that means cold. It's supposed to snow tomorrow, but we're sitting in some freezing degrees. Now, we weren't planning on being here anytime near winter time, but we're kind of stuck. Stuck as in, we still don't have a transmission. Now we have our old transmission, but long story short, we fixed an issue that was in there but there must have been another issue and that issue once it did work just enough caused a whole bunch of other issues internally. We opted to try to source a different transmission just because we're on a time crunch and it's hard to get parts, it's hard to pray that those parts do work and that does fix the issue. So we did source a transmission actually in town and these transmissions are really hard to find right now. And we're trying to find a remanufactured one but we ended up going with one from a salvage yard. This is the same salvage yard we got the rooftop from. This is the same salvage yard we've basically gotten everything from. So they actually know us there. It's coming off of a van and apparently all 97 vans are four by four and he said that they can get it down for us in three days it comes with the torque converter so hopefully once that comes in we can get it installed and pray to god that this van can move and run and get south now lance is actually working on the diesel heater our mini splits actually been kicking ass but just in case it doesn't work we need some secondary source of heat so that diesel heater is actually one that came with the van it was placed in a terrible area we're struggling with getting the bolts in it's right above the frame rail getting it in trying to make sure that it works that way we don't freeze our asses off in case the mini split doesn't work sometimes in the morning since we're not kind of consistently running it a bit overnight it gets cold so it has a freeze protection so it takes a while to kind of heat up the internals of the mini split and then it'll actually kick on and start warming up in here. So we're just trying to avoid any of that. Hopefully as soon as that transmission comes in, we'll get it bolted up and it's gonna work. You know what, I'm just putting it out there, it's gonna work. We're gonna be able to get out of here. Frankly, since we've been on such a tight time frame, we haven't been filming very much. It's crazy trying to get out of here, battling weather, trying to talk over and screwing things. So I'll show you what we have done so far that's different from the last video that you saw, which was plumbing and electrical. So foundations are in, now we're just kind of getting everything else set up. So we're actually getting this front area a bit back together. The diesel heater's going under the driver's seat, so he's gonna route that actually back and behind this section for our water because water does freeze, obviously. The <laughs> water water has frozen in the bus before and we know it's going to end up freezing in here at some point if heat isn't actually directed to it so we're going to direct it there and then pop it out and have obviously center heat from the diesel heater too 
also before we put the transmission in we need to mount our fridge back up you might remember in old videos that the fridge is going here so it'll kind of act as our center console and it's really the only space we have for it so we're going to mount that get it bolted through the floor and then the front area is good enough to go until we get down south we're going to be finishing up a lot of things down south so I have kind of been working on the bed area. I think you can see it a little bit. I drilled out these holes for the bed because beds and vans and buses can create moisture and it gets trapped under there and then it molds. So it's good to have breathing holes. If you've watched a lot of van build videos, you probably have seen them do it. But now I'm just painting all of this and then we can get the bedding in place. That's what I'm working on today. I also painted our side walls except these pop outs we're doing something cool with those we just haven't installed it yet but i do have a belt it's kind of the same as the roof along the back panels but we are gonna have it a solid color so it's not too busy with how busy our cement look is so with that yeah lance put all of this kind of trim work on the bottom here so we can build down from it we don't see any raw van walls on the bottom anymore you can still see the top needs to go in eventually I love these. These are like our little cement pillars. Now my mom and I, everyone say thank you Sherry, worked on our cushions all weekend. So Lance cut them out for us with how they need to go for our couch setup and then it folds into our bed. But we're working on covering it with fabric and that is mainly outdoor fabric. I actually really like it. We got it from Hobby Lobby. We're fully wrapping them, but we're also making it to where we can take it off if and when we need to wash them. So moving on, it doesn't look too different in our storage areas but we actually have pretty much all of the drawers finished and painted we're just making those side walls for it internally to screw drawer sliders in that side walls in these side walls are done too i'm just painting them ali's filming bitch oh you're filming just a quick little update -de -de -de. oh i told him i was gonna have to pee on his hand if it's stuck to the metal yeah i don't think we're gonna have the diesel heater control up there not long enough mm -hmm. maybe we can just have it on this back side yeah you know it's cold out when lance wears a beanie yeah it's never wears a beanie oh and his poor head what's going on with my head your bump and your oh. cut. <laughs> my cut you want to tell them what happened or are you too embarrassed by it i'm embarrassed why are you telling them what happened usually you know. just jump to it he was sighting in a gun and the scope. I hit a bullseye <laughs> and I was too focused and the, the scope hit me in the forehead. I wasn't prepared for the recoil. Our sliders on the underbed drawers didn't actually come all the way. So we're making these like little pocket bookshelves. So there's going to be one on that side and that side. They're already made. They just need mounted, but we need to slide these out to mount them. And we don't want to open the doors right now. This is our... Oh gosh, wow, the lens is really dirty. Sorry guys, take care of that. Okay, look how crazy this piece is. Oh wow, I still need to paint it right there. <laughs> but this is our slide out pantry. It's all angled, I'll show you kind of what the angle looks like. I know for you, you can't see a huge difference, but frankly, we know all the parts that just aren't installed yet and just having them kind of sitting to the side waiting for a day to install everything, it's gonna start coming together like that. And it already has been coming together really quick. Our foundations are good. We just need flooring to put in what we have, paint and cover and upper head is gonna be a big project, but we're just trying to survive and get done what we can get done up here and then move down south when the van works. And if you're on this channel because you love our dogs, don't worry, they're not stuck in the camper all day. They do actually come in the van and hang out with us sometimes in here, but they need to sit in the front seats to stay out of the way and Lance is working in the front seats right now. So they're not in here today. It's really cute when they are in here though and they're already so happy and very excited to live in here and leave the cold. We also have these lights out. These are the same lights that are under this bar area, which we can turn on. So these underglow, Lance right, routed them out and inset them, but we're also gonna have them all the way along the bottom here. This is a much less harsh light than our top one. So this is more kind of like for mood, nighttime. So we're gonna make sure to run it all the way across. Plus lighting is everything. So eventually we're doing that. We also got another solar panel and that's gonna be going right 
kind of, maybe you can see it. It's gonna be going on top of the mini split and then to the roof. And that's hopefully gonna create less of a possible draft from driving. So hopefully it'll create kind of like that extra wind barrier. Plus we need more solar power. We only have three 100 watt solar panels right now. So this will make us at 400 watts and we might eventually add solar panels to the side pop outs of the van that can kind of fold up like that. Eventually, not right now. You can see Lance's little Y situation for the diesel heater. This is our deathly, deathly gal right now. Now, I really wish that we have filmed more the last week or two weeks, but frankly, we are on a weather crunch and filming is a bit of the last priority because we have to get south. We can't live up here all winter. So bottom line, thank you so much for watching this video, for watching the last video, for watching our future videos. Thank you so much for hanging out. And I truly hope that you get some value, some enjoyment, some entertainment out of it. I don't know. We, we appreciate you. And we think it's so awesome that we actually have people that watch videos, long form videos, short form videos. Speaking of, no matter what videos you like to watch, we are on basically every platform. So make sure to check us out wherever you want. Do whatever you gotta do and thank you for watching. It's not boating season anymore. The nice thing about winter is you can just keep your beers outside and they'll stay cold. Hi. Hey. <laughs>